My name is Kayeen Talton Davis. I'm Riff Kondo. I'm Shelby Davis. I'm Crystal Shank. Right now we're here in front of our project uh, here in the Portland building titled Neither Here Nor There. I'm the designer and artist behind the We've Been Here mural in the Lizzie Coons Weeks event space here in the Portland building. I'm a media arts and director working and living in Los Angeles. With my team, we are 12 people creating public art experiences for any age, any background, and any culture. We are sculptors. We work together as husband and wife on public art projects. Placing artwork in this building requires just like an enormous um, and constant scale shift in terms of like handling objects that are enormous and require two lifts to lift them up into a suspended position or, you know, installing a really small print of artwork that cannot be touched because it has an encaustic surface. For us personally, this is one of the biggest projects that we've taken on. We have a deep connection to Portland and the landscapes here, so it was kind of nice to give that gift back to the city. We learned so much in this process. We had never done any CNC work specific to sculpting, and so taking computer landscapes and sort of hovering over the earth and finding something that's topographically interesting and then having it carved out and sort of manifest in the wood in front of us was incredible. I think the most interesting part was the research. Went into the city archives, the Oregon Historical Society, also reached out to other people within the community just to kind of get some different pictures and stories. The piece shows a variety of different women in the early 1900s through the 1930s, and collecting that information, those stories were very interesting to me. It's my very first physical sculpture that truly deals with data and mission intelligence. And as far as we know, it's one of the first examples of using public data with mission intelligence and transforming it into a 3D form of sculpture. I recognize that there really isn't much of a mainstream positive depiction of black people and African Americans and I wanted to kind of counterbalance that, which is what I've been working on for quite a while, and just really kind of focusing on um, black joy. I think that it's a perfect time to find the, the serendipity inside these machines to find a deeper context but also create new future narratives that hopefully creates um, a deeper questions but also creates these awe-inspiring moments in life. The, the closer you look you'll, you'll be able to find maybe things that you can pick out are noticeable. Crater Lake, Mount Hood, those are hopefully some of the things that invite you in to hunt further in the terrain. Our priority is to serve the artwork. I love to place artwork and come up with the relationships between like the completely different, seemingly different art pieces in one space, conceptually and visually, and within those limits, building a miniature kind of exhibition that supports all of the artist's works. So today is uh, almost the last moments of installation. Uh, a couple of hours ago, the team were able to connect the sculpture in the air to the point that it hangs in the air. So today is the first day of half of the sculpture hanged in the air. Um, it was a very challenging environment. It wasn't like that easy um, because of like, like it's a hanging piece in the air with almost no attachment from like the sides and the bottom. It's only like minimal um, connection points in the air. So it was, it was pretty like a unique challenge. Thank you.